who's ready to talk about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Buckle up. We've got some major drama and storylines coming up next. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Bravo family. What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. So glad that y'all are here. Guys, it's been a minute since we've talked about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and we've got some major storylines, major news, major updates. I want to fill all of you guys in on what's going on with season 11 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So this is what we know so far. Kyle, Lisa Rinna, Dorit, Garcelle, and Erica all returning for the upcoming season. They will be holding diamonds. Also joining the other five ladies is a brand new housewife, Crystal Kung Minkoff. Her husband is the producer and director of Disney's The Lion King. So her family is pretty much Disney royalty. I can't freaking wait. I'm so excited to see her. She's going to be causing some drama. She's going to be stirring shit up. Can't freaking wait. Sutton, she is going to be returning in a friend of role again. They did not give her a diamond. Kathy Hilton is also joining the cast in a friend of role. So here is what we know about the major storyline for season 11 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. The major and main storyline is going to be Erica Jane's divorce. Yep. You have heard me correctly. So according to Hollywood Life, Erica Jane's emotional divorce is going to be heavily featured in the upcoming season 11 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. It's going to be the main drama for the entire season. So it's being said that Erica's not holding anything back. Whatever she can legally say, she's saying it. As Bethany would say, she's mentioning it all. Mention it all. Mention it all. <laughs> so we're going to see Erica get emotional and extremely real and raw about the situation that she's currently in. This season, it's all about Erica Jane. Um, I'll see it to believe it. You know what I'm saying? I'll see it to believe it. Everyone, though, is very supportive about Erica and the situation that she's in with her, you know, Tom and the legal issues and the divorce and all that shit. So everyone's very supportive towards Erica except for one person, Sutton. Sutton is, um... Yeah, speaking of Sutton, she's been causing a lot of drama between the other women because she really wants airtime. She's not getting along with anyone, and it's apparently all for the cameras. And you know, when you're a friend of, you only get paid for the episodes that you're in. So this bitch is out here trying to get all that camera time because she wants those coins. Honey! Know what I'm saying? So yeah, Sutton is, um... Not a fan favorite. The only person, though, that Sutton seems to be getting along with is Garcelle. And from the looks of Sutton's Instagram, they're posting pictures together left and right. So it looks like Sutton and Garcelle, they are BFFs. Anyway, back to Erica's divorce. So, Erica allegedly moved out of her mansion with Tom after it was burglarized, and she moved into a $1.5 million LA home. Tom, though, recently has lost his law license. So as of March 9th, Tom Girardi is no longer allowed to practice law in the state of California, according to the California Bar Association. Y'all, that's some, that's serious shit. That's serious shit. The fall from grace with that man is, is real. But you know, you done fuck with people's money and this is what happened. So I don't feel bad for you. Also, Tom has been placed under a temporary conservatorship with his brother following Tom's decreasing health and alleged dementia. Dementia. 
and we'll leave it at that. I don't buy that shit for a second. All of a sudden, you're, you're not well. So Tom's brother is going to remain in control of Tom's finances until at least March 30th. Lots freaking going on in Beverly Hills, man. And you know, I'm really, I'm really hoping for the best, but not expecting a lot from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So what do y'all think of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 11? Are we excited? Do we think it's gonna compare to last season and the Bravo Bravo fucking Bravo? Oh, I wanna show you guys this. I have a koozie of the Bravo Bravo fucking Bravo. Is this not gonna... There we go. Love it. I kind of love it. What do we think? I'm really hoping that everything is on display about Erica's divorce. However, I kind of really don't have sympathy for her. What do you guys think? Do we have sympathy for her? I personally, and this is my personal opinion, y'all can come here and be like, I fucking disagree. And that's fine. I still don't give a shit. I think she knew. I think she knew about all of this. I think that she knew what was going on behind the scenes. Like, how do you think you got all this money and why was it being funneled into your EJ whatever bank account? There's so many things that I really hope that we get answers to, so bravo. I'm really hoping for the best. Also, Andy Cohen tweeted, he let us know that we will have a trailer for both The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and The Real Housewives of New York before June. So get subscribed to my channel and get those notifications turned on Henny because I'm going to be reacting to both trailers, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and The Real Housewives of New York once they drop. This is your home to all things Bravo. Get subscribed and join the Bravo fam. Bravo, Bravo, fucking Bravo. I'm out. Bye. Comment below. Let me know what you think about The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Season 11, y'all.